Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So if you find yourself in the EEA, then I may have good news because due to the enforcement of the EU's Digital Markets Act, DMA, Microsoft is expanding the list of apps and settings that EEA users can control and uninstall. And this includes the ability to uninstall the Microsoft Store completely and stop pop-ups and wanting you to make Edge your default browser, which I think is a big annoyance for a lot of users and worldwide. Now, starting with Microsoft Edge, the changes actually started rolling out for Microsoft Edge with the version 137 upgrade that rolled out a couple of days ago. I'll leave the video um, linked in the description. And that version was 137.0.3296.52. We've already been bumped up to 0.58, um, which was a bug fix update I posted on earlier today. So if your browser's up to date, you should see some changes starting to roll out. And these changes will keep rolling out through early June. Now, just to go through the changes um, quickly for Microsoft Edge, one of the main points of criticism, I think, that Microsoft has received is that it's difficult to set a default browser other than Edge and keep it the default. So with this update, um, this shouldn't be a problem anymore for users in the EEA, as Microsoft Edge won't prompt you anymore to set it as the default browser if you do not launch it. Obviously, if you do launch it, you'll get a prompt, but if you don't, no prompts will be seen according to Microsoft. And another one is that if Edge is uninstalled, other Windows apps won't prompt you anymore to reinstall the browser. And the only exception, though, would be is when a PWA, a progressive web app, is rolled out via the Microsoft Store and is using the Microsoft Edge um, technology. So that would be web view as an example so those are a couple of changes that microsoft has rolled out for microsoft edge which i think if you are in the eea is a nice move in the right direction now looking at some other uh, windows changes and a lot of these changes are currently rolling out in the insider builds in the insider program but should be rolling out over the next couple of days to the so-called consumer and the general public version of windows now, first of all, regarding Windows Search. Now, I'm not in the EEA, and obviously this is on a controlled rollout, so I'm just going to use some images from that announcement. Microsoft says that regarding Windows Search, apps can provide web search results in Windows Search. This design has been updated to be more fully featured and improve the user experience across multiple providers. So number one, if an app registers a web search provider, it is automatically enabled when the app is installed. Number two, it is easier to view results from many web search providers at the same time and you can still use the scoping tabs at the top to narrow down your results. And number three, web search providers can be reordered in settings so you can easily customize your experience as Microsoft likes to call it. And these Windows search changes are already available in Windows Insider builds and will finish rolling out to retail builds on Windows 10 and Windows 11 in early June. And what we are looking at here is search results from Windows Search showing multiple web search providers showing at the same time. Okay, so that's the change they are talking about there. And if we head to the next image provided, what we are looking at here is settings for web search providers with the ability to reorder them. And here you can see you can reorder those and I actually think that's a nice move in the right direction. Now moving on to another big one. And that's the Microsoft Store. Because currently you cannot uninstall the Microsoft Store. And you will now be able to uninstall the Microsoft Store, which I think is a very nice move in the right direction if you find yourself in the EEA. And Microsoft does say, though, that apps installed and distributed from the Microsoft Store will continue to get updates even if the Microsoft Store is uninstalled. Keep keeping them secure and up to date, which I think is great. And you will be able to reinstall the Microsoft Store, obviously. And this change for the store will be available later this year on Windows 10 and Windows 11 devices in the EEA. So no time period is given for being able to uninstall the Microsoft Store on Windows 10 and Windows 11. 
And then just looking at one or two changes for Microsoft apps. The first is that the Microsoft Bing app now will open web content with the default browser in the EEA, which I think is another nice move. And currently this is available in Windows Insider Builds and will finish rolling out to retail on Windows 10 and Windows 11 in early June. And the Start Experience app, which is also known as the Newsfeed or the Widgets Board, now opens web content with the default browser. So if you have set Chrome or Brave or Vivaldi as an example as a default browser, when you click on one of these links or widget, it'll take you to that content in your default web browser you have set, which currently is not the case, which I think is another good move. And this also applies to the lock screen. So if you click on content regarding um, the news feed in the lock screen, the same will apply. Now take note that this change will start rolling out in June to Windows 11. And obviously on Windows 10, there is no widget support. But funny enough, there is a news and interest feed and Microsoft doesn't tell us in Windows 10, if you click on that news and interest feed, what browser it will open up in. So that's a bit of a loophole there. And take note that Microsoft says that Edge uses this capability for its news and interests feature, which isn't changing. It will continue opening web content directly. So obviously if you open up news content in Edge, like MSN as an example, Obviously, that'll still open up in Microsoft Edge and not your default browser. But nonetheless, I think a good couple of overdue changes coming to those of you in the EEA. And uh, the rest of us, unfortunately, those changes will not apply. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.